Good evening, children. Today we are going to study Act Two, Scene Nine. Let's find out where does the scene take place. The scene takes place in Belmont, a room in Portia's house. Enter Nerissa with a servant, followed by Portia, Aragon, and their trains of servants. So the Prince of Aragon. Reaches to test his luck by going through the inscription of the three caskets. He is highly optimistic of his success in casket selection. He feels that he is worth of Portia. He is the second suitor, second brave suitor who follows the the condition imposed by Portia's. father the three conditions he is the second suitor who is ready to follow all the three conditions in order to participate in the casket ceremony he rejects the lead casket because of its ugly appearance he then rejects the gold casket because of its inscription which says one who selects me will get what many men desire he does not want to select the choice of many who are mostly fools he opens the silver casket as its inscription says who selects me shall get as much as he deserves and he thinks that he truly deserves portia in the meantime portia's servant brings the news that a young venetian has reached at her gate with some expensive gifts he also informs her that he is sensible courteous and decent the portia and nisa feel a good deal of pleasure on the sanyo's arrival the lord of love whose lovely eyes once allured her in an occasion where her father was alive now the explanation of some important lines aragon before going through the casket ceremony before he selects his choiceable casket he has to see and observe all the three caskets and as we all know that all the three caskets have an inscription on each of them so aragon speaks and so have i addressed me fortune now to my heart's hope gold silver and best lead who chooseth me must give an hazard all he hath you shall look fair uh, i give all hazard what says the gold chest ha huh, let me see who chooseth me shall gain what many men desire what many men desire that many may be mint by the fool multitude that choose by show not learning more than the fond eye doth teach so here aragon first tells portia that he has prepared himself accordingly and may fortune now support the hopes that reside in his heart gold silver and lead casket whoever selects this casket must give and risk all he has this is lead casket this is the inscription on the lead casket you must look fairer than that before i risk for you i am not going to risk for you you here is referred to lead casket What does the golden casket says it says whoever chooses me shall gain what many men desire that many men mean the foolish majority which chooses on the basis of outer appearance not bothering to find out more than what their eyes show them so this is the reason why prince of aragon refuses to select the gold and lead casket he moves on to the silver casket let none presume to wear an undeserved dignity o oh, that the state's degree and offices were not deprived corruptly and that clear honor were purchased by the merit of the wearer so here he thinks he wishes if only rank titles honors and appointments were not achieved through corrupt means and that pure honor and designation were not achieved through unfair way and that pure honor 
post and high designation should be won by the merit of the person who holds the title. Next, line number 64 to 72, where Aragon tells the fire seven times tried this. Seven times tried that judgment is that did never choose a miss. Some there be that shadows kiss, such have that a shadows bliss. There be fools, a live I wish, silvered over, and so was this. I'll ever be your head, so be gone, you are sped. So, after selecting the silver casket, this is what he finds inside. This message is especially for the person who has selected the silver casket. And silver casket is selected by Prince of Aragon. See what the message says. Silver is refined seven times by fire. A real judgment that does not choose wrong is tested seven times too. There are some people who chase shadows and get only an illusion of happiness. There are fools alive. I'm sure they are disguised by the silvery hair of age. And so was this casket. I, the insignia of an idiot, is your true representative. So leave, your chance is spent. The message clearly tells Prince of Aragon that he has very stupidly selected the wrong casket. And his chance is over, he may go now. Prince of Aragon makes his choice of casket. He dismissed gold because it is coveted by many men. And he is so arrogant that he will not rank himself with the barbarous majority. He chooses silver thinking that men should get only what they deserve. And he strongly feels that he deserves Portia. He opens the casket to receive the shock of his life, which is the head of a blinking fool. Silver stands for conceit and self-deception. Both shown by Aragon in his choice. The scene ends with a pleasant news of a messenger heralding the arrival of his lord as suitor. Both Nerissa and Portia are excited and hope it is Signa Bassanio. That's all for this evening. See you soon with the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay at home. Goodbye.